to a new video of Horace Mystic World. The topic we chose today is not only important, but a very serious issue. We all need to stand up and play our role to make positive change. Our topic today is about Clean Air Day, which is an award-winning annual campaign to bring awareness about both indoor and outdoor pollution. Air pollution is a public health crisis, which affects everyone, including children, adults and elderly in certain ways. Let's start with indoor air pollution and the ways how we can prevent or help reduce it. Number one is dust. <laughs> dust is a harmful indoor allergen that contains particles of dust mite, insect part, dander, fungi, viruses and bacteria. By inhaling dust, we can trigger to certain allergies and even asthma. There are a number of ways to get rid of dust and safe, stay safe from allergies like remove dust daily, vacuum regularly, wash bedding weekly, buy washable stuffed toys, cut clutter, keep humidity low, and replace carpet with hard flooring. Number two, dust mites. Dust mites are close relatives to ticks and spiders. They are too small to see without a microscope. Dust mites eat skin cells shed by people and they thrive in, the, in warm, humid environments. In most homes, they are found in bedding, furniture, and carpet. Many people with dust mite allergy experience signs of asthma, such as being wheezy and difficulty breathing. Keep the house aired and dry. Dust mites do well where humidity is greater than 50% but do not do well in dry conditions. Plants and fish tanks add to humidity, so keep these out of the bedroom. Dry vacuuming doesn't pick up dust mites. Consider steam cleaning carpets when possible. In addition to cleaning the carpets, the heat of the steam kills dust mites. Wash bedding, including pillowcases and mattress covers in hot water every one to two weeks. You can also dry bedding at high temperatures. You can limit your contact with dust mites by using allergen proof covers on your mattress, box spring and pillows and washing them regularly. Number three, viruses. Viruses in home can be caused by fungus in mattresses and pillows, parasites, indoor pests and a variety of microorganism found in home. Regular cleaning and disinfection kills viruses. Both heat and detergents, including soap, can stop it functioning. Use steam cleaners to clean the floors and surfaces. Number four, bacteria. Number of serious illnesses can be caused by bacteria that is found in polluted air drains, air ducts, water supply system, contaminated food, fungus in mattresses and pillows and places of moisture. We can prevent bacteria from soap, water and hand sanitizer. Also by cleaning with bleach and water. Disinfective wipes with at least 60% ethanol or 70% isopropanol. Use hand sanitizers with at least 60% ethanol. Number five, dandruff. 
Cats and dogs stand as other leading allergens found in beds, pillows, carpets, and almost everywhere in the house. They can trigger to asthma. You can reduce pet dander by regular bathing and wiping their feet when they come from outside. Danders love carpets, so remove carpeting and use tile or wood flooring. Number six, toxic malls. Plumbing leaks in walls or ceilings, pipes or near windows, or any other source of moisture like flood causes toxic molds. Diseases caused by toxic molds are called leukemia, kidney, esophagus and liver cancer. Keep humidity levels in your home as low as you can, no higher than 50% all day long. Be sure that air in your home flows freely. Fix any leaks in your home's roof walls or plumbing so mold does not have moisture to grow clean the molds with soap and bleach number seven carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas that is caused by clogging fireplace and faulty heating system it is an odorless gas that causes nausea, dizziness, headaches and overexposure can be lethal. Keep your vents clear. Do not run engines in closed areas. Schedule regular maintenance and keep fireplaces clean and well vented and install and maintain carbon monoxide alarms. Number eight, fungi. There are many different types of fungi in homes. Some are found in mattresses and pillows. Others are found beneath carpets, water drains, air ducts, and in places of high humidity. Inhaling humidity can cause allergies or even worsen illnesses. Keep healthy humidity levels. Mold and mildew thrive in humid environments, so it's important to keep your humidity levels down. Keep your surrounding air fresh. Open windows to help increase the ventilation in your home. And it's a good way to lower indoor carbon dioxide levels. Use green cleaning products, dry wet areas, and keep indoor plants. Number nine, pollen. Plants and trees release pollen that gets into your home through open windows and doors. Pollen causes headache, hay fever and triggers allergies and asthma. Avoid drying clothes and bedding outside when the pollen count is high. Keep doors and windows shut when the pollen counts are high and shower and change your clothes after being outside. Number 10, carbon dioxide. Poor ventilation produces 50% of all indoor air pollution. Overexposure of carbon dioxide can be dangerous. Although carbon dioxide is harmful in small quantities, the buildup of this natural gas can lead to adverse health effects such as fatigue, headaches, loss of concentration, dizziness, shortness of breath, increased heart rate and more. Turning on an extractor fan can expel carbon dioxide and other gases that form while cooking. Use an extractor fan, but if you don't have an extractor fan, open a window to keep the air moving. Install carbon dioxide alarms or monitors. 
and plants are nature's air purifier. Keep more indoor plants to purify air. Number 11. Hazardous materials. Any materials like pesticides, chemical based products, cleaning products and kerosene produces air pollution. Inhalation of these hazardous products can cause serious illnesses. Keep windows open while using cleaning products. Number 12. Smoke. Any kind of smoke, either it's burning domestic wood, coal for barbecue, and cigarettes cause harmful pollutants. Quitting smoking is the best option as it's not good for your health as well as the people around you. And never use a barbecue inside. Only use your barbecue in accordance with the operating instructions to avoid excess smoking. Number 13. Cooking pollutants. The stoves emit a massive amount of air pollution inside homes. Changing how the world cooks will drastically reduce air pollution. Use exhaust fans in the kitchen to remove cooking fumes. Now it's time to learn outdoor pollutants. The common source of outdoor air pollution are emissions caused by combustion processes from motor vehicles, solid fuel burning and industry. Other pollution sources include smoking from bushfires, wind blown dust and biogenic emissions from vegetation, pollen and mold spores. Air pollution can damage crops and trees in a variety of ways. Ground level ozone can lead to reductions in agricultural crop and commercial forest yields, reduced growth and survivability of tree seedlings, and increased plant susceptibility to disease, pests, and other environmental stresses, such as harsh weather. Conserve energy at home, at work, everywhere. Use public transportation, bike or walk whenever is possible. Keep car, boards and other engines properly tuned. Be sure your tyres are properly inflated. Use environmentally safe paints and cleaning products wherever possible. And combine errands and reduce trips. Walk to errands when possible. Refuel your car in the evening when it's cooler. Reduce fireplace and stone use. Time for our pledge. I pledge to go polluting vehicle free on clean air day. I pledge to give my car a day off on clean air day. I pledge to avoid ordering non-essential polluting deliveries on clean air day. I pledge to support my local council clean air activities on clean air day. I pledge to walk or cycle to school on clean air day and whenever possible. I pledge to make a public statement to act on clean air day. I pledge to switch off my engine on clean air day. I pledge to learn more about the air pollution on clean air day. I pledge to avoid using wood burning stoves and open fires on clean air day. I pledge to avoid burning households and garden waste on clean air day. I hope you've learned a lot about indoor and outdoor air pollution. To 
to see more educational videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. From Harris with Sequoia. Bye! Bye.